Is the FAA holding back the future of space exploration? That's the big question on everyone's mind. And if you're frustrated about the delay of Starship's fifth flight, you're not alone. Elon Musk himself has voiced his frustration, warning that we will never get humanity to Mars if this continues. Think about that. Starship isn't just another rocket, it's a critical step toward establishing a permanent presence on other planets. And yet, here we are, stuck in bureaucratic red tape. Could this delay be more damaging than we realize? Not just to SpaceX, but to the USS standing in the global space race. Over three months have passed since Starship's fourth flight, and anticipation was building for the fifth. However, the FAA delayed this critical mission until late November. This isn't just a hiccup, it's a significant roadblock for SpaceX and its bold vision of the future. The big question, is the FAA becoming a bottleneck to space innovation? Musk has openly criticized the slow approval process, but it's not just him. Congress has also taken notice. A separate 10 hearing by the House Science Committee's Space Subcommittee became a platform for Congress and industry leaders to voice their growing frustrations. At the heart of the issue are the FAA's Part 450 regulations. These were supposed to streamline the commercial launch and re-entry licensing process when they went into effect in March 2021. Instead, they've led to delays that some argue threaten American competitiveness in space. Bill Gerstenmeier, SpaceX's VP of Build and Flight Reliability, warned that the regulatory system is at risk of collapse. He explained that the current process is stifling progress, directly impacting innovative companies like SpaceX. But it's not just SpaceX that's affected. During the hearing, Dave Cavosa, president of the Commercial Spaceflight Federation, highlighted that the regulations are causing severe licensing delays and confusion, jeopardizing the U.S.'s leadership position in the global space race. Companies are getting stuck in what seems to be an endless cycle of back and forth with the FAA, which can take years to resolve. This inefficiency poses a real threat to the U.S. space program, as other nations, particularly China, continue to make major strides in their own space ambitions. Pamela Meredith, chair of the Space Law Practice Group at K&L Gates, echoed these sentiments. She pointed to the lack of transparency and predictability in the FAA's licensing process. Even Representative Brian Babin, chair of the Space Subcommittee, called the process snail-paced, warning that it's becoming a major roadblock to NASA's goals of returning to the moon and eventually landing on Mars. This is a serious problem because NASA relies heavily on private companies like SpaceX to achieve these ambitious goals. Representative Haley Stevens made it clear when she said, we're in a bureaucratic swamp, and something's not working here. The U.S. government is leaning on private companies to spearhead its space program. But if these regulatory delays persist, the vision of returning to the moon, or even reaching Mars, may be slipping further out of reach. Despite the growing criticism, FAA Associate Administrator Kelvin Coleman attempted to defend the Part 450 regulations. He argued that the complexity of the Starship mission, which involves different flight configurations, requires modifications to licenses, thereby extending the approval timeline. Coleman also pointed to the frequent Falcon 9 launches as another factor, saying that the FAA simply doesn't have enough staff to process all the required licenses for SpaceX's multiple missions. But this explanation didn't sit well with critics. Representative Rich McCormick, for example, pressed Coleman during the hearing, saying, You're in charge. You make the difference. If it's not working, you need to change it. This is not just a SpaceX problem. This is a national problem. Delays are holding back critical advancements in space technology, and with other nations racing ahead, particularly China, the pressure is mounting for reform. Let's not forget that the competition is fierce. While SpaceX is being held up by regulatory red tape, China is rapidly advancing its space program. They have lunar landings, sample returns, and an ambitious plan to send humans to the moon by 2029 with a lunar base planned for 2030. 
China has even accelerated its moon sample return mission to 2028, putting further pressure on NASA's plans to return samples from Mars. In the race to the moon, and eventually Mars, China is catching up fast, and they don't have the same bureaucratic hurdles that SpaceX is facing. It's not just China that SpaceX has to worry about. Domestically, Blue Origin and other companies are also vying for a piece of the space pie. While Starship Flight 5 is delayed, Blue Origin's new Glenn is set to launch as early as November, just ahead of Starship's postponed flight. This has led some to speculate whether the FAA is intentionally slowing SpaceX down to give competitors like Blue Origin an edge. During the September 10th hearing, several companies voiced their support for the FAA. Brett Alexander, chief revenue officer at Firefly Aerospace, stated that his company had no major concerns with the FAA's regulatory process. Alice Hoffman, Vice President of Government Sales at Blue Origin, echoed these sentiments, calling the FAA's relationship with her company productive. This support from other companies has only fueled speculation that SpaceX may be the outlier facing disproportionate regulatory barriers. Elon Musk has been vocal about these delays, not just because they impact SpaceX, but because they threaten to slow the entire U.S. aerospace industry. Musk has repeatedly warned that unless there is significant government reform, these regulatory delays will hinder technological progress and leave the U.S. at a competitive disadvantage. As we look ahead to November, the stakes have never been higher. The U.S. space program's success hinges not just on the capabilities of companies like SpaceX, but on whether the government can keep up with the rapid pace of technological advancement. If we don't act soon, we may be watching other nations and other companies surpass us in the final frontier. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.